Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motai Media, and today we've got a brand new review of Jason Ross's Divergence EP. Before we get any further, this video was indeed sponsored by the Bowtie Gang, the channel members of, well, this channel. So if you want to be a part of weekly voting and decide what videos get uh, done, you can join channel membership today. Jason Ross is here with his fourth studio EP, with this being his first project released on Monster Cat, having worked with Anjuna Beats and primarily Ophelia Records with his past projects. In fact, it wasn't too long ago, back in August of 2022, where Jason Ross put out his second full-length record, Atlas. And while I was ultimately underwhelmed from the project, there were many signs of life throughout the album that showed Jason Ross was capable of making more than just generic melodic dubstep. And yes, I have been historically harsh on that subgenre up to this point, as artists are seemingly recycling the same song structure, builds, melodies, and even lyrics over and over again within the melodic dubstep space. I very honestly think the genre is very stale and needs to be revamped at this point. Which is why I actually got very excited hearing that all five tracks from this EP were uh, coming from different genres. And while that's generally true, there is still a significant overlap of that specific melodic soundscape from Jason Ross. Kicking off the track list is Space Between featuring Oliver the Kid, and it definitely wasn't the strongest lead track in my opinion. Space Between is pretty much the exact carbon copy of a sound in which I find to be derivative within the melodic dubstep space. Especially considering that there is this true pop rock overtone to the whole track with its percussion, electric guitar, and vocal delivery. It's a trope that I'm very much tired of hearing within that mellow dub space. And even then, I still don't think it's an overly strong cut from this EP. Oliver the Kid's vocal performance wasn't the strongest, and the copy-paste drops don't lend themselves too kindly to repeat listens. But Wake Up with Fairlane is next in the track list and is my favorite from the EP. And while this is inherently a melodic dubstep tune, there are a lot more feature-based elements present here that I would largely credit with Fairlane in bringing to the table. And while I do feel like the drops on this track are the best on the project, they still very much fall into generic mellow dub tropes with fake outs on the second drop, big super saws, and even an acoustically driven outro section. Stylistically, No Tomorrow featuring Brendan Burnett is by far the most unique and creative on this EP. It's got these big trance chords that actually lead into a very firm hard dance style. And while hard dance generally isn't my usual cup of tea, I do think this track does a great job of being that midpoint in the EP, what separates the more melodic dubstep style at the top and the more progressive house style at the bottom, while still keeping and maintaining that overarching melodic tone that Jason Ross is trying to present. The more I listen to this track, actually, the more I'm really starting to enjoy it more so and more so and more so, and this will probably end up actually being my favorite on the EP. Divergence is the fourth track here, and one that feels very out of place. The intense side chaining through the non-drop sections feels overdone, and this being the only song without vocals just doesn't really match the rest of the tone of the EP. But I do give credit here to Jason Ross for exploring more different styles and genres, this one leaning most heavily into progressive house this one and the next track. I have always felt that progressive house songs are pretty easy to kind of slot into a different non-progressive house sounding project and I think that's very evident here. Jason Ross also didn't really go above and beyond the norms with this track in particular, keeping things pretty reserved and standard for such a genre switch up halfway through this EP. And then Last Time featuring Linny closes out the project with another more progressive house leaning, more so dance pop closing track. If anything, this track is the one that's made the most for that sweet, sweet commercial appeal. The production is a little bit more simplistic, the vocals more more dominant in the mix, and the melody is bright and easy to remember. This is yet another track, though, that feels a little out of place. Sonically, this one feels the most different of the five tracks, as the purpose of this one just feels different. There seems to be a very different audience that Jason Ross is trying to reach with this one track opposed to the first four, and that's that commercial audience. I ultimately feel very similar to how I did with Atlas. I think there are a lot of good things going on with this project, great production, some good variety, and unique ideas. But in the same way Atlas did, Divergence falls into too many tropes of the industry today. I compliment Jason Ross for adding various genres to this EP, as I think he did a good job balancing each track's overall sound to make them cohesive as an overall collective. It just feels like a majority of these tracks have unfinished ideas and aren't fully fleshed out the way I know Jason Ross can do and has done on other tracks. But with that, I will give Jason Ross's Divergence a bowtied six. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What did you think of this EP as a whole? Did you really enjoy it? Did you not? I'd love to hear any comments, especially those right in the middle. Did you agree with my score? But uh, that's been it. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.